With server cases being so expensive, I decided to take a look at a cheap one from Rosewell and see if it's up to the job of being the new case for my home server. Let's take a look at it. Taking a look at the outside, we see that it's painted black, as most server cases are, um, if they actually are painted at all. If you take a look though on the inside about the paint job, you're gonna notice that it is a very poorly done paint job on the inside, and it looks like they really didn't give a shit about it. They just kind of figured, oh, the outside looks nice. You're not gonna be looking at the inside, so who cares about it? There's foam padding on the inside of the front panel, which is just inside uh, of the handles that are actually really sturdy on the case, which I guess is to be expected, considering you're expected to lift it up by that and then stick it into the server rack. That foam mesh is actually a dust filter, although it's a different kind than I've seen before, which is why I refer to it as a foam mesh, because that's really what it is, instead of um, a dust screen or filter. Taking a look inside, we find the drive cages for 15 drives. Would have liked to see these as hot swap slots, but this configuration works kind of fine for the price, and I'm not really complaining about it, as I'm not going to be hot swapping drives frequently. Although I don't really want to have to open it up, tear it apart, uh, to take and get uh, one drive out if there's a drive failure, as I'd like to keep high uptime. It is a trade-off for the price, though, as with everything. The drive cages have a really odd way of uh, coming out of the case, but it's something that I'm not too worried about since I don't plan on changing out drives much um, or plan on having them fail because they are uh, fairly new drives that I put into it. The case comes with a lot of fans. It comes with eight total, 620 millimeter and two 80 millimeter ones in the rear. All the fans are powered by Molex, so they're just constantly running at 100%. Uh, even if you try and daisy chain them to knock down the power. As... Uh, how the fans are in the cables um, it allows you to chain them together uh, in a really weird Molex configuration that uh, I'm not particularly fond of. Although I did notice maybe a hundred RPM, two hundred RPM drop uh, in speed after chaining all of them to one Molex plug. Building uh, in the case was a breeze, as you will have seen in my speed server build. If you haven't seen that, check up in the top right corner for it. I think that's the right anyways. Um, and I'll have it linked up there and in the cards for you guys. If you enjoyed, remember to leave a like on the video. Uh, comment down below what you thought about this case. Do you want to see a top five server cases video? If so, leave a like on the video so that way I know. And subscribe for more videos like this and other tech videos.